up the, uh, with the idea that women are the weaker sex. Who came up with that? You know, because I do so much work dedicated to women empowerment, I, I ask myself that question, why are women called the weaker sex? So I said, I'm going to do some research. So, yeah. so I got to the internet and I'm trying to find out why are we called it, you know, why are we called the weaker sex? I could not find one reason. So I said, I'm going to call my doctor. He knows no. So I called my doctor. His name is Dr. Bueno, right? Bueno is good. He actually was good. And, and I said, hey, Dr. Bueno, if you're good for something, please tell me. Why are we going to call the weaker sex? And he said, there's really no reason. The only reason why we are called the weaker sex is because our body structure is smaller than men. That's it. But while I was doing my research, I found out over a hundred reasons that they women the stronger sex. Yeah. I can't share all of them with you because we don't have that much time. What I want to I want to share with you uh, five of the most important ones I want to be the stronger sex. Number one, uh, do you know, most of you know that women live longer than men. That's why we, because we're stronger. Actually, eight out of nine people who get to be a hundred years old are women. So we're stronger. Yes. <laughs> Something else, it's a proven fact that women are more able to resist pain. We can handle pain better emotionally and physically. Yes. Um, actually, how many times have you heard of those cases where a woman is giving birth and the man just passed out? <laughs> they can't even look at pain. <laughs> Something else. Studies show that women are better entrepreneurs. Yes. Companies that are run by women last longer in business than companies that are run by men. Um, one of the reasons is because we build better relationships with our co-workers, with uh, our clients, with our suppliers. So when tough times come around, uh, people in business tend to be more faithful to us and to help us. But just in business, they're more faithful to us. Um, <laughs> Okay, just kidding. Something else. Uh, as women, we are multitaskers. Unlike men, we can do many things at the same time. And the reason why is because our thoughts are inner wise. Women can entertain many thoughts at the same time. Um, for example, have you ever seen a woman, she can be in the kitchen cooking, helping the kid with the homework, she's on the phone, watching the novella, <laughs> checking her email, right? Because our thoughts intertwine. But with men, the way their brains are, their, the way they think, their thoughts are linear. They have one thought, then the next one, and then the next one. I remember like with my ex-husband, yes, he used to be able to handle really well like Watching TV and drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, what a talent. <laughs> okay, um, finally, can you hear me well in the back if I get out of, of the podium? Let me, Let me get it close here. Okay, um, finally, the last one I'm going to share with you of what makes women stronger. Men hate it when I share this one. But it's not me, it's Dobby Show. <laughs> I always back up my Dobby Show. <laughs> that women have a stronger sex drive. <laughs> Woo! Yes, uh, yes uh, our sex life did last longer than, than men. Um, and you don't know this, Okay, do you know that what is a, like women's sexual peak is, do you know what, what age? 30, exactly. And do you know at what time is men's sexual peak? 19. 19. 19. <laughs> <laughs> men is at 20, you know, it's at 20. And after 20, you know what happens? 
Uh, but for women, it's not 30. And after 30, guess what happens? It's gone up. Stay there for the rest of the <laughs>